Yo what's up guys this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking particle explosion effect in After Effects and we just need one or two effects and no plugins so it's really simple. Let's go. So first just make a new composition and add a solid like always and as you can see I used the, the small crosses as particles so the first thing that we're going to do is make some crosses but you can also use other shapes if you want but let's just do this real quick so I'll add a shape layer and create a rectangle and just remove this setting and turn up this the width so it's just a little bit wider and give it some roundness and also let's fill it with some color then just duplicate this and rotate it by 90 by 90 degrees so we get this cool cross and we can already pre-compose this and yeah this will be our particle maybe basically and for now we can just hide it and let's go to our solid again and add the effect particle world and as we can see this looks cool, but it will need a lot of work in the settings, so it will look like we want it to look. So let's just start by creating a keyframe right at the beginning, add 4, and just place in a keyframe, and then go forward a few frames and put it to 0. So what this does is it basically just creates particles at the beginning, so it will look more like an explosion and yeah. So let's go to the particle settings and change the particle type from line to texture disk and just select our pre-made cross layer. So yeah, this will look like, like this and yeah, we can hide this one. And let's just turn up the, the size of the particles. So let's put 0.7 for the birth size and 0.4 for the death size and also turn up the maximum opacity. And let's also apply a fill effect to give it some color that we prefer, like a light blue maybe, like this. And yeah. This already looks kind of cool, as you can see, but we want the particles to go in all directions and not just the bottom. So let's go to physics and change the gravity to zero. And now we can see they go in all, the, they go in all directions. And yeah, this is really cool. And now we can add this effect that you can see here, where there's just yeah, a trail behind the particles basically, and this looks really cool. So we have to duplicate this layer and select the lower one and search for the effect light burst and apply it. And now we can see these uh, the things go to the outside, but we want to go it to the inside. So let's change the ray length to minus 100 for example or maybe minus 200 and yeah as you can see um, we got this really nice effect where there's this thing behind the particles and it will take some more time to render but it looks really really cool and yeah that's it basically maybe you can also add an adjustment layer and maybe add some glow to the whole thing And yeah, let's just make the radius a bit bigger, 100 and yeah, you can just play around with this a little bit, but it should look really cool in the end. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.